So I'm a medical oncologist. I treat more advanced stages of uh, the cancer. Uh, on this slide here, I'm showing you the treatment of metastatic bladder cancer. The picture on the right there shows you a patient with uh, metastases or spread of cancer to the liver. You see all those dark spots in the liver. So it can be an aggressive disease when it spreads outside the bladder through the bloodstream into distant organs like the liver, lung, bones, and other organs. So how do we treat this patient? So on the left-hand side, you see the bullet point number one. So in patients who are fit and active with good kidney function, we give them a combination of chemotherapy drugs intravenously like a drip. And one of these drugs includes the drug called cisplatin. In patients who are less active, less fit, uh, because of either other illnesses or um, a high volume of cancer, or if they have poor kidney function, they're not fit for cisplatin. And so in these patients, we give them a different combination of chemotherapy drugs, including carboplatin, which is a gentler version of cisplatin. And again, this is an intravenous drip. The other option we have now in the past uh, year, couple years, is giving immunotherapy drugs uh, instead of chemotherapy in patients who are not fit for cisplatin. So that includes drugs like pembrolizumab or atezolizumab, which are both approved uh, to give intravenously to boost the immune system. And that has also been shown to be active and induces uh, long lasting responses in a quarter of patients. And the third option you see down there is trials or research we don't cure most patients with this disease once it spreads out. So we always want to offer trials and research with uh, new drugs or combination of chemotherapy and immunotherapy drugs or combinations of uh, promising immunotherapy drugs. In this slide here, I show you the treatment of muscle invasive bladder cancer. So this is a little bit earlier stage, it's not metastatic, it's confined to the bladder, but it's invading the muscle layer, so it's deeper than the lining. And so this is a stage in which, although it is confined to the bladder, there is a high risk of it spreading out and hiding in other places in the body. And therefore, we really want to give these patients uh, chemotherapy intravenously or other types of therapy intravenously to kill cancer cells that might be hiding far away. That is in addition to taking the bladder out. So the first bullet point there shows uh, preoperative chemotherapy. That's chemotherapy given, given before radical cystectomy. It's also called neoadjuvant chemotherapy, which has been shown to improve the survival of patients with bladder cancer uh, invading the muscle if given before the, the bladder is removed. And then the second um, option is postoperative or adjuvant chemotherapy. Uh, this is chemotherapy given after the bladder comes out, and this also has been shown to improve survival in other uh, uh, smaller studies. And so this is a, a second option in these patients, although we prefer giving chemotherapy before taking the bladder out. And the third option is immunotherapy. This is still a research option. There are research studies going on looking at whether immunotherapy alone without chemotherapy given after the bladder is removed can improve the survival of these patients. So this a picture on the slide right shows you uh, the way we give neoadjuvant chemotherapy that's before the bladder comes out and adjuvant chemotherapy is done after the bladder comes out. And this third slide here in the medical oncology section shows, uh, shows you what we give in patients when the cancer grows after chemotherapy. So this is called salvage chemotherapy or second line therapy. So older chemotherapy drugs have been not very effective, but now we have five exciting options of immunotherapy that are approved in patients where the cancer is growing and metastatic uh, after chemotherapy. These are the five drugs listed there, the pembrolizumab, atezolizumab, darvalumab, nivolumab, avalumab. Now all of these drugs uh, don't cure patients, they generally improve uh, outcomes, they help people live longer. Some patients who respond might have a long duration of response, but we generally uh, cannot cure patients with these drugs. Therefore, research trials of new drugs, testing new drugs is a big consideration in patients where the cancer is growing after previous chemotherapy.